Hello, something guys or gals. This is uh, Lance Salmon here, and I'm going to be making a video response to uh, Howard Bloom's defending Miley Cyrus. Although this is on the uh, the Amazing Atheist channel, he's got a, actually he has he has a several videos um, of his. I think he's trying to give him support because he's kind of like one of those logical, reasonable, scientific goals people on the uh, on the YouTube channel trying to get him some more uh, support so I'm going to be putting a link down below of the video since I can't make a direct video response which is stupid but anyhow let's get on with the show so I don't really know what the hell is going on not all that much with this whole Miley Cyrus twerking thing honestly I don't really care, but honestly, I don't think anyone really should care either. I mean, this is going to happen one way or the other. I mean, she's not going to be a little innocent little teeny bop star, except for Taylor Swift, I guess, because, you know, she's still, uh, she's like, shut up. She's still like 27 living in a 14-year-old, or like, she's like a 14-year-old stuck in a 27-year-old's body, but anyhow... Harboom claims that it's perfectly fine, which in some, uh, to some extent I agree, and that he is explaining how Miley had developed, and that we are um, of, of a certain pursuit for sexual desires. Now, the problem I have with that is that I understand the logic behind it, but we as human beings have grown beyond just our normal instinct of sex and food and Hunter, uh, hunting gathering we've we've have houses we have pets we have social structures we have a uh, political uh, political points of view we don't I mean should we just look at this uh, video of Miley Cyrus naked on a wrecking ball and just fucking fat to it because it's our sexual desire so we just might as well just fat to it I wouldn't think so I mean Granted, granted, the people who complain about, oh, the loss of innocence and whatnot, and that she's a savage is beyond childish, but, I mean, it isn't without, um, I mean, there wasn't going to be any criticism unwarranted from this. I mean, if it's a, I don't know if this is, is this a music video or a little skit on um, MTV Music Awards, I'm not um, exactly sure, but I was going to expect this. I mean, she's going to get around that age where she's going to realize that she's developing and she's being a woman. I mean, it'd be stupid if she was a uh, Hannah Montana. And many other people have uh, said that. Many other people before, like Buckley and the Amazing Atheist himself have said that it doesn't really matter because she's al it was already getting down to that age. I mean, that's not really something we should be complaining about. This is something we should expect. I mean, it's not like she was going to be the same 14-year-old kid that was on um, that Hannah Montana TV show. I mean, at some point, she's going to... Oh, my God. Bird. What? What is it? Sorry. Anyhow, so I'm just um, pointing out that, yes, we have a sexual desire, but we as a human species are more sophisticated and have grown beyond the need of survival. We are thriving, we're doing our own little thing, like me, right now. <clears throat> My voice is croaking. Um, I'm on a webcam. If I was just doing whatever my instinct told me to, I'd probably be just on my four, uh, four legs out in the wild trying to search for more food, you know. There's food right behind the refrigerator right there, but since I'm living beyond my instinct, it's kind of hard for me to capacitate that certain kind of knowledge. So, the point of this is that, yes, Miley Cyrus being an adult and showing off her goods is nothing short of unusual. It's nothing of unusual. I mean, I think Madonna did it, Courtney Love did it, Courtney Cox did it. And Paris Hilton did it, and Kim Kardashian did it, and Katy Perry, well, 
Katy Perry didn't do it, but I imagine there are probably there's probably a lot more people who are masturbating to her, and she even tried to do something weird and edgy. And that's the thing I don't understand is that is that we don't we don't have this uh, toxic reaction to people who have already developed. It's always the ones who start to develop, like Miley Cyrus. It's always those that get flame for when they're grown up and whatnot. Same thing with Britney Spears as well. I mean, she was this 19 going on 20 little girl high school. Well, she had this high school bop going on then. And then, and then when she started to get older and started doing a lot more kookier things, people just freak the fuck out because they don't remember her like she used to be even though our obsession with celebrities is already insane as it as it is at this point so mainly I'm just pointing out that there there has to be some more logical criticism to whatever Miley Cyrus did with that wrecking ball other than the fact that oh she's an adult she's got boobs she's got weight she's got little tiny waist and The way that this guy describes it, he keeps repeating this um, over and over again. kind of makes me feel like he's kind of a child molester. But anyhow, I'm just going to refrain from uh, accusing that, making it seem like my statement seems invalid. Anyhow, just don't be an animal. We are a human species. We have... We have... Um, needs and wants beyond the normal uh, instinctual nature that most animals do and we have our personal computers we play video games we sit around watch tv we make novels we build buildings we drive cars we eat different foods based on our preferences i mean if we were instinctual we wouldn't matter what it was we just eat whatever was in front of us at the moment but anyhow just just the real criticism that we should probably be discussing towards the wrecking ball thing is why exactly did they show her naked uncensored on live television that would be the thing I would be particularly concerned with not that the fact that she's already um, an adult I mean if anyone was surprised by that and shocked by it They've been living under a rock for the rest of their lives, obviously. So anyhow, I'm not saying that Howard Broom wasn't right in his disposition, but he seems to leave off that um, particular, um, particular evolutionary theory that you know we're a human species. We've grown beyond the needs of just sex, but we do have sexual desires, and it is to be expected. So, 